We're going to be doing today Big Daddy's final match that was ever screened on ITV. Uh, it's Big Daddy, Tom Thumb and Kashmir Singh versus Task Force 3. Uh, Task Force 3, believe it or not, says Kent Walton. Um, believe it, they're basically doing a Nazi gimmick. Yes. Astonishing. So, World of Sport was how most people in this country would have seen wrestling, mm. certainly on television. It was on ITV and it ran every week, every Saturday from 1965. And the and Queen would sometimes watch it. The Queen did sometimes mm. watch it, yeah. It made household names of a lot of the wrestlers mm. who appeared on it. I mean, most notably Big Daddy yeah. and, of course, his eternal nemesis giant haystacks don't miss the big man's final appearance on itv it opens with a, with a little promo where they have the bad guys. They are wearing um, Nazi-era World War II tin helmets. Yeah. When yeah, I was growing much. up, you saw a lot of those around. Mm. Any, yeah, you don't see them quite as much anymore, do you? don't. In, in the old days, you, you go to like people's like granddads. You'd sort of like pop over to mm. their grandparents. They'd cook you lunch and everything. And the granddad would invariably come in with a box full of unused grenades <laughs> yes. from the war. Or a Luger. Yeah. Everybody had <laughs> loads of plunder from the war. But those, those tin helmets you to see everywhere. It looks more unacceptable nowadays because you'd have to actually really go and search. Yeah, for you'd have to. You'd to have to go on. to an army surplus, give yeah. the man a little look, and yeah. go, see what you got behind. Yeah, there. and they'd be seventy quid. Yeah, you know? <laughs> seventy quid because there's a bullet hole here that's unsurvivable. You know, <laughs> but back then, I mean, they were like just. Sort, it would be like wearing I don't know a fucking chomp wrapper on your head. You, you know, you'd find them everywhere. <laughs> they are the three villains: Bulldog Brown, German John Wilkie, and Cyanide Sid Cooper. John Wilkie. Wilkie, you might be. Is that a German name? No, I wouldn't say so. No, no, it's not. He was previously billed as the hard man of the potteries. He was from Stoke on Trent. <laughs> um, they have a manager with them as well, who, in, in case you don't feel like the Nazis are a clear enough indicator that these are the bad guys, mm. they have given them a stereotypical Arab manager. Mm. Of course, in 1988, we didn't have anyone but British people in Britain. So <laughs> we it's just some Arab. fucking bloke from like Monmouthshire <laughs> who is having to do what he believes is an Arabic voice. Yeah. The thing is, obviously, there was no way to check. So he's just gone, I'll put on a voice of that sort of area. This guy has gone, I've, I've, I'm not quite, well, he's Jackie Mason. <laughs> It's is, is he an Arab? It's, is he an Arab? Arabic, yeah. an Arab? Well, it's, it's, Task Force 3 are here today to destroy Big Daddy once and for all. Make no mistake. Make no mistake. <laughs> it definitely goes over into being quite a big Jewish caricature. Massively, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, Then we cut to Big Daddy's team and we get to hear for the first time from the under five foot tall Tom Thumb. Rubbish. Let's tell them what we're going to do to these monkeys today. <laughs> <laughs> God! Rubbish. Let's see what we're going to do with these monkeys today. It is, I, I honestly think this, it's impossible to do that line as he does it because it is so flat yeah. that it's so difficult to do. Rubbish. It's like the great... That, that was good. <laughs> It's like the rubbish. Let's tell them what we're going to do to these monkeys today. Today. It's if you were an actor, you'd kind of go, I do a lot of method. I've played Hamlet and everything. You go, can you do Tom Thumb's line from Big Daddy's Final? I'll give it a try. Rubbish. We're going to show these monkeys. No, what, too much. Too yeah, much. Too much. Yeah. Too no, much. Yeah, yeah. You're too not an around. actor. <laughs> Give me your Academy Award back. Until you've passed the Tom Thumb test, you cannot call yourself an actor. <laughs> I love Tom Thumb. Oh, he puts his thumbs up as well. And I know it's in his name, Tom Thumb. Yeah. He's got a fucking massive thumb. He has got massive thumbs. Really big sort of like meaty, <laughs> great sausage thumbs. Rubbish. Let's tell them what we're going to do to these monkeys today. Confusingly, it's Tom Thumb. We yeah. know that. Mm. He's wearing Robin Hood gear. Yeah, I don't know what that was all about. I, I can't understand what this guy's fucking gimmick is. <laughs> it's confusing. Kent Walton also says, let's go over to Big Daddy and his merry men. There Again, is a there sense is. of going, no one has sat down and gone, you yeah. do know Tom Thumb isn't part of Robin Hood. <laughs> it's, sorry, he isn't. But, but no, he is. He's the little one who, oh my God, you're right. Do you know what? I heard it and I actually thought little John. Mm. But no, you're right, no, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Tom. Tom Thumb, come here. You're fired. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> there was. Oh, no. I'll leave now. <laughs> this is the worst day of my life. Um, what will my wife say? <laughs> I'm going to end it all. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how he feels. Um, We're going to send the Ayatollah and his army back to the desert. At one point in the match in this, Kent Walton does go, Tom Thumb there, doing very well. Uh, real name, Neil Evans. 
Don't ruin the magic, Ken. <laughs> but there is no benefit to us knowing he's called Neil Evans. He would take on quite a lot of the big rule breakers at the time, like Sid Cooper, who he meets here, and most memorably of all, Crybaby Jim Brakes. Mm. Jim Brakes was a lightweight. He was quite short. And his big thing, he was called Crybaby because he would get frustrated and lose his temper and he would stamp up and down. Mm. People hated him, but he was a brilliant technical wrestler. When he does that monkey's line, you go, this guy has no place in a British wrestling ring. <laughs> and when you see him perform... He is like a proto Rey Mysterio. And his match with Jim Brakes is a masterclass where he is just this, he's like something out of Midsummer Night's Dream. Mm. He is sk like skittering across the ring. He is through Brakes' legs. Brakes is absolutely furious. Brakes will grab him and Tom Thumb will manage to sort of like wriggle out and just go under his legs. He's back and he's too fast. Yeah. Brakes cannot shut him down. Kent Walton commentates on the match and he is just chuckling with delight throughout the match, just going, <laughs> this is really something special <laughs> and the crowd react to him so brilliantly <laughs> oh, this, <laughs> this is going to be very funny for everybody in the hall except Jimmy Brakes Big Daddy, the biggest name in British wrestling, um, even up to this point. He comes out with his bare skin on. Mm. He was a former Coldstream guard. Uh, who knows? <laughs> I mean, that certainly was a thing that he'd had right from the start of his career. He was earlier, before he was Big Daddy, when he was just Shirley Crabtree, he was also known as the Battling Guardsman. So it might be a Sergeant Slaughter thing where he did it long enough that he began going, oh, actually, you know, I might not have done it. Properly. <laughs> but I've probably but I, had a longer time. I did it so there. long. I think it's uh, it, it, it all evens out in wash. Um, he comes out, he's wearing his Union Jack waistcoat that's homemade because he's much too big for normal clothes. And he's great big sort of nappy with straps that he wears on. And, I mean, it is just everything you would say was wrong with Big Daddy mm. is on display in this match. It's also really, really poorly booked as a match mm. and as a way of going this is the final appearance the final performance it's really lacklustre it makes a lot of mistakes there's really early on a Nazi salute from John Wilkie as he's introduced nobody reacts to it and it is funny how time further we've gone from having if you like people around who were involved in World War 2 mm. with those people all dead everyone's now you can't do that <laughs> and back then you could do it and you did do it <laughs> and nobody responded everyone was like just doing a Nazi salute like yeah. we all do <laughs> yes. you know it's a really odd thing to see daddy comes in uh, yay <laughs> He says, <laughs> yay, like Roland fucking rat. Yay. And the kids go mad for it. Tom Thumb is, is waiting for his intro and he looks a bit nervous about the whole thing. And the referee kind of goes, Tom Thumb. And he sticks his big thumbs up. And I did like one thing about this, which is you have a group of Nazis on one side and then you've got Big Daddy's group. And looking at them, this misshapen yes. clump of men. They're everything the Nazis would have hated. They're a man with dark skin. They're this great unproductive fat lump. And then you've got... The Britain's smallest professional wrestler. It's absolutely great to have them against the forces of evil. It's a rag bag of non-alpha men who everybody loves. Daddy gets in, he starts it off. It, the heels have to do all the work. They run at Daddy. Daddy doesn't just not do moves. He won't even go near people. So he will stand there, they have to run at him and bounce off That's him. off his belly, yeah. Oh, yeah. they do that. It's so, so... There's a bit as well where Daddy does a little soft shoe shuffle. Like he's an athlete. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But those silky skills. I was like, oh, you are taking the piss, you big troll. He tags in Tom Thumb, and Tom Thumb is phenomenal. He yeah. comes in, he nimble, the man is. He does this lovely flying mare. It's just beautifully done. He's just like a Ray Mysterio from Braintree, not Tijuana, <laughs> at the time when an industry was dying, and he's really good at it. At one point, Daddy tags back in. The heels all run out of the ring, and Daddy sort of turns over and starts going, ooh, <laughs> with his bum. And it's a bit like him sort of going, this is the last time I'll get to do it. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't want to leave anything in ring. So I'm going to offer up my big bum. Come what may, let's give it a go. No one goes for it. He's no. like, well, do you know what? At least I scratched I that itch. I did my best. I did my best. In comes Kashmir oh, Singh God. as well. Indian born, now in Wolverhampton. Wearing, I noted, the Hulk Hogan uh, gold trunks and red knee pads. Right, Looking okay, sort yeah, of Hulk yeah. Hogan nod there. <laughs> um, he also worked as a referee, Kashmir Singh, who was a very popular guy. Good technical mm. wrestler by all accounts. He worked as the less exotic referee, Jason Singh. And at the end, the time... 
timekeeper obviously knows him better as Jason Singh. Mm. So they got, got the winners, uh, Big Daddy, uh, Tom Thumb and Jason Singh. <laughs> so hold it together <laughs> for character. one Big Daddy's Cash, last match. Cashmere Singh. Cyanide Sin Cooper, there's a lovely bit. And Cyanide Sin Cooper, one of the great villains of mm. British wrestling. One of the great inspirations on William Regal. William Regal wrote about him uh, in his autobiography, just mm. talking about how he was one of the great villains. Um, he is really good. There's a lovely little bit here where he starts in on the crowd and he grabs some of their stuff and throws it. And then mm. a woman sort of misses a kick at him from her chair. And he again goes over, rips up a kid's photo of Big Daddy. And the woman just comes after him. <laughs> I looked at him and I thought, this is the sort of Britain we've lost. Where <laughs> you could just sort of mess about with a crowd. Yeah. And a crowd would have a pop back. And you just sort of go, sit down, you silly old cow. You know, it seems so free and exciting. Sign Edson Cooper gives Tom Thumb a uh, tombstone pile driver. Mm. And Tom Thumb is counted out. And while the heels are cheering, Daddy just wades in with his plastic bucket. Starts whacking them around the head. Absolutely not pulling his shots. With a crunch. And the referee, they go, well, Big Daddy's got a public warning. And Big Daddy, what? Why? Like it's last match. The old Hacksaw Jim Duggan yes. defence. What? How on earth is that, like, got me in trouble? <laughs> well, exactly. it, is, it, is a pl- it is a plastic. I would have thought, it wouldn't Fucking have been funny, though, that. if they'd have just gone, Big Daddy's been disqualified. <laughs> so the winner in Big Daddy's final match by two falls to none, Task Force the three, the Nazis. The Nazis, <laughs> the Nazis win. The Nazis oh, have won. Amazing. Um, Daddy gets Bulldog Brown from Bradford. Uh, he gives him a big belly bump, and uh, it's the worst splash you've ever seen. <laughs> by this point, Big Daddy is not confident about getting back up off the floor. No. So he goes down, but he stays in a sort of horrible spider crouch <laughs> because he's like, if I go all the way down, I'm not getting back up. The, th- the thing about Big Daddy is like he he had a big fat, like the biggest, widest body you've ever seen in your life. Yeah. Well, he's actually got like this weird sort of flat protuberance at the back of his shoulders, sort of thing. So it goes up like that, and then, and, but it's not. It's obviously he's not been working out. No. It's just some kind of gross, it's, like it's, a weird humpback it's kind of gravy. Situation. <laughs> if you drink as much gravy. <laughs> over the years as Big Daddy does that gravy has to go somewhere it will naturally settle in a flat plateau because it's liquid it's just like, full of gravy his like a big egg oh he's oh, so huge. I would love I know it's impossible now I'd love to feel what Big Daddy feels like I, I can't to be imagine honest, it there's so much when did he die like there's so much yeah. there's so much body well, I don't think it left. would I think it must be there a little bit must left. be uh, if he was cremated they're still cremating him <laughs> still going oh man the heels then run at Big Daddy and he just knocks them down with his shoulder mm. and it happens seven times in all and then they just go you know what fuck it and off they go and, yeah. they, and they leave mm. uh, and they are counted out terrible end to a Big Daddy sort of final TV card mm. I mean why not have Big Daddy pin one of them who cares mm. uh, literally the answer to that as well is no one <laughs> by this point nobody cares about British wrestling yeah. you could have had Big Daddy just win with a pinfall what's really odd as well is it's his final match when it cuts back to the ring to say the winners are Big Daddy Tom Thumb and Jason Singh Big Daddy's not there yeah. He's just gone. So it's just Tom Thumb and Cashmere Singh. <laughs> Sorry, Daddy, you have something more important to do <laughs> than celebrate in the ring at your final... Oh, that's a gummy gravy. <laughs> been, out, been out in 12 minutes. <laughs> Big gravy, mate. It's getting cold. That is it, then, on yeah. British television for Big Daddy. I mean, but this is from the 12th of November, 1988. It had been taped the month before at Rickmansworth's <laughs> Waters Meat Theatre. Right. And Waters Meat Theatre is still there. Mm-hmm. Another one to add to the great map of... <laughs> yeah. Yes. British wrestling pilgrimage. We've not kept track. No. <laughs> I did have a look at what's coming up next. Uh, Come What May, the ultimate tribute to Moulin Rouge. Ooh. And uh, followed by Mother Goose Cracks One Off, an adult <laughs> pantomime. Why do they always do these sort of Jim Davidson? Like, you, I thought we stopped doing this like a long, long time ago. Oh, fun and filthy adult panto <laughs> for all you big boys and girls. <laughs> Leave the kids at home and grab your tickets for this filthy night out. Yeah. I love I love the fact that it's just one bloke just going, hey, fucking get me Rickmansworth Theatre. <laughs> hey, Rickmansworth Theatre, I've got a play that is so fucking dirty. It's gonna, it'll curl your fucking pubes. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, sure, yeah, of course you can come in for a month. Oh, God. They bill it as saying, returning from last year's UK tour of Sleeping With Beauty. Is the Was he ex- commentating at the Royal Jewels? Crown Jewels? <laughs> <laughs> I bet Wade Barrett I bet, loves oh, yes. a fucking Definite dirty... Oh, yes. Wade Barrett's it was, dirty... It was an absolute... <laughs> 
blue cornucopia of filth. <laughs> I couldn't believe some of the things that were being said, but I wanted to hear more, more, more. <laughs> Getting interview with a really harsh key light outside the theatre. Yeah. yeah, me and Doris loved it. Yeah, it, it ended too soon. <laughs> Not unlike me good self. <laughs> Wade Barrett, WWE, it would say. They have an actress there and they've said... I nearly uh, spread me muck. <laughs> oh, weird. You're disgusting. I like it when people don't quite get it. It was so good, I jizzed him in fucking jockeys. <laughs> right, can wait, we do another wait, one? Can we do another can we Not do another so one? graphic. Yeah, I, I liked I come, it so I much. I jacked it come over the front of the, <laughs> of the person in front of me. <laughs> it might be at the waters, mate, but it's not water that was shooting out of my erect penis. <laughs> uh, it, it was ejaculate. <laughs> got that good? You got what you need? Uh, <laughs> well, yes. Yes, yeah, cool. <laughs> Just delete that. We'll see you there. Boom! <laughs> <laughs>